Welcome to DTV. I'm joined by Viv Mitchie, the new Melbourne recruit. And uh, Viv, congratulations on uh, joining the club. You've returned back home after a couple of years at Fremantle. Um, what's it like to actually return to your native state after being uh, away for a few years? Yeah, it's a, it's a bit funny actually. It feels feels a bit strange to be back home, uh, I guess, for good now. So uh, it's a little bit strange to be back, but uh, definitely uh, very, very good and very exciting to be uh, back with family and friends, yeah. yeah. Can you sort of give us a bit of an insight into you as a player and uh, how you went over at Fremantle? Yeah, well, I'm, I'm a midfielder. Um, I tend to hopefully win a lot of clearances, um, get my hands on the footy, and I think I... Um, use the ball reasonably well, so I'm probably more of an inside sort of player, um, but uh, that's that's sort of the role I played in, at, over in uh, Perth. Yeah. Had a tough couple of years over at Fremantle, you, you finally made your debut this year uh, as a late uh, call-up against Geelong, but up until that you had a lot of injury problems, um, how difficult was that just sort of dealing with those? Yeah, it was tough, um, I pretty much uh, played about eight or nine games I think in the in the waffle in my first season um, did the whole summer when I first got over and then uh, yeah unfortunately hurt my foot and um, just had a lot of lot of problems with that for about a year and a half I think I, I missed and um, it was definitely a hard time for me being away from home and away from you know the family support and um, a frustrating time you know not being able to get get out get on the park and um, you know show what I could do but um I guess, uh, yeah, you, you learn from that, and um, I'm, I'm hopefully over all the injuries, and I can um, hopefully contribute uh, at Melbourne. it would be nice. What about this year? You actually made your debut playing that one game, but also won the BNF for Peel Thunder in the in the waffle. Um, how much did this year help your confidence? Yeah, definitely. I mean, um, having missed so much footy, and then and coming into this season, it was. I guess I didn't have you know any huge expectations I just wanted to hopefully string some games together and um, you know get fit again and you know get back to playing some good footy and um, as it as it turned out I, I felt like I had a pretty solid year in, in at Peel Thunder in the waffle and um, eventually um, you know got got my debut in the AFL which was yeah definitely an amazing experience and um, one that I'll hopefully be able to um, keep experiencing going forward, yeah. So um, a good, yeah, a good year it was, yeah. yeah. How did the uh, the trade come about for you? How did you end up uh, coming to Melbourne? Um, I guess um, throughout throughout the year, some some different clubs had, had shown interest. I had a pretty reasonable year, but um, was finding it hard to, I guess, uh, crack a game in the in the seniors with which is obviously a pretty strong team um, this year. And uh, I guess I just started to sort of weigh out my options a little bit and um, Melbourne Melbourne were pretty, you know, pretty good in um, in coming to me and um, what they sold to me was that, you know, it's a, a team that's hopefully on the up and a team that needed, um, needed more midfield depth and... Uh, I guess they they thought that I could fill fill that role, and um, I guess I see it as a, a good opportunity for me to hopefully be part of it. Something uh, something good down here. So, what was it like being at Fremantle this year? Massive year for for the club, uh, making the grand final. Although not involved with that directly, I mean just being a part of that club environment. Yeah, it was a, it was a huge year for the club, and um, I guess a club that hasn't really had much success and hadn't really experienced. Um, too much finals footy or anything like that and um just just to be around the club and um yeah such a such a good coaching staff and the rest of the players are so professional um I definitely learn a lot and uh just being around the town the Fremantle town in general was amazing um to see that see the um I guess the community just get around the, the team and uh, especially going into grand final week and things like that. It was a, a huge buzz, um, so it was nice to be, I guess, a part of that, yeah. Now, back at the Ds, uh, Paul Ruse, obviously uh, the new coach of the club. Uh, what's he sort of said to you as part of your role going forward? Uh, he's just said, basically, um, to, you know, be a part of it, to, to get to know the players, obviously, um, that hopefully there'll be an opportunity for me to play some footy, but, um, I mean... It all comes down to hard work, and this—that's what this preseason will be about. Just to 
just getting to know the players, the coaches, and hopefully starting to earn some respect from them and um, working hard. And, um, you know, hopefully the rest will take care of itself and I'll be able to sort of um, show them what I've got, yeah. You have a connection with one of the uh, other new recruits for the Demons in uh, Dom Tyson? Yeah, I, pl I played um, a little bit of footy with Dom at Oakley Chargers, so um, it's funny that we've both ended up here. It's it's nice to have him here as well, and while we're both getting settled in, we can sort of uh, feed off each other a bit and look after each other, so it's um, it's definitely good to have Dom on board, yeah. And just finally, uh, what would be a realistic aim for, you, for yourself next year personally? Um, oh, I don't I don't have huge expectations other than to hopefully get through the pre-season unscathed and... Um, going to practice games and things like that hopefully be be fit and ready to go and um, I'm confident in my ability so I'm hoping I'll be able to yeah um, do well all right Viv well uh, great to have you on board and uh, very much look forward to seeing you in the red and blue next year yeah thank you